Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what AFOs are. <laughs> All I know is I hated the thing. Okay. It's an ankle foot orthotic, so it's a plastic piece of molded uh, so to your foot and it, to keep your foot from yeah. dropping. They give me AFOs to start out with because my leg was uh, snapped. After a while, like my skin, I started to develop calluses and pressure sores. I mean, it, it was just. It was hard. Yeah, the AFOs are something yeah. else. Uh, they really restrict the movement. I mean, it's a good, it's a good, you know, orthotic, but it's still for like it's short time. Right. Yeah, short. Time. Exactly, and that's how I saw it as a as an aid to help me get from where I was, where I couldn't walk, Correct. to where I was walking. But I quickly had to come out of the AFO because I realized that I had lack of blood flow because I wasn't moving my leg. Once I got the L three hundred and started using it more the blood flow was going more normally and, and the swelling actually stopped. Our situation was similar but a little bit different. He was in AFOs probably for almost three years and so he had already learned how to walk, compensate and walk with no ankle movement. So it put a lot of strain on his hip and hyperextended his knee. So when he first tried on the, the um, L300, it was, he was very unstable because it was beginning to put his body back into correct motion and walking movement. It was that first time was almost an awakening to back to what it should be to walk.